Welcome back to the PSN Commanders. That was your boy Tom. Hey, okay, tap. We're back with another video. If I get to a word of God, if I got to right now, God's open doors. In pay with wave. All the people in the Lord's name, pray Mr. Davio. We're here out the Washington Commanders. Before we get too far into today's video, however, I'm going to give you a quick verse of the day. This is from Ezekiel 36 26. It says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Uh, so basically, um, this just says that um, he's going to renew your spirit and mind and body and, and heart. Instead of you having um, a cold heart towards others, you will have much more gentle heart towards others. Um, so that's what the Lord does when he puts the Holy Spirit in you once you're baptized and once you declare that Jesus is Lord. Let's get right to today's video, though. I ain't going to do too much rap. So, Jaden Daniels, right? I know a lot of people saw the IG Live with him and Elite Neighbors, and he didn't really hint that he wanted to go to Washington. I think he wants to be a Las Vegas Raider. He wants to play with his former coach and Antonio Pierce. I get it. Understandable. I, I get that, right? I get that, right? And Brandon Ayuk, I think he's going to get extended by the 49ers. He's, he's too important to their offense. So this is very, very hypothetical. But it actually might make more sense for the Niners to trade him because of Brock Purdy's incoming contract, they have to pay him for the future. And it makes more sense for future cap situations to not have Debo on a big deal, Ayuk on a big deal, Trent on a big deal, Bosa on a big deal, and Brock. That's a lot. That's five dudes. And CMC is a nice little piece of change on his contract. There's six big contracts. Those are a lot of big contracts on one. On I know the cap is going up every year. Don't don't hit me with that. The cap is going every year. It's going up every year. It just went up thirty million dollars. Might go up thirty million. That that doesn't happen all the time, y'all. That was a very very rare occurrence that the cap went up that much, right? So you still want to be very judicious with the cap, and you want cap flexibility, right? So you might want to trade Brandon Ayuk for the Niners, but I think the Niners want to keep him because how good he is. And I think he's only 25, so he's super young. So you want to keep a guy like that, right? More than likely. So I, I think when all said and done, Jane Daniels is going to play for he never team. It's not the Raiders. And I believe that the uh, Raiders will not be able to acquire Brandon Ayuk via a trade, or any team will be able to acquire uh, Brandon Ayuk via a trade. So let me just kick that out before we go too far into it. So. But the most likely thing, if it does happen, both will be Raiders. I believe that um, the commanders might love Drake May. I saw that reaction of Dan Quinn to Adam Peters at Drake May's pro day, okay? I didn't see that same reaction for them about Jay and Daniels. Media speaks one thing. They speak another. Actions, actions speak words, man. Action talks, bullcrap walks. I saw that reaction from them at Drake May's Pro Day. The reaction to the beginning and the end. And it was vastly different. And they got to really chopping up with bro. They might like Drake May more than Jane Dames. And this whole Jane Dames of Washington smokescreen is just a smokescreen. Maybe. Think about it. Think a little bit, man. Let's think a little bit, right? All this Jane Dane, 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 the awe, the, 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 the emotion, the reaction to Drake May's pro day. And I'm sure they watched the tape too. So they wanted to see bro in person. I'm telling you, Jada. They might be going upside over floor. And they might take Drake. So if they do take Drake at two, the Patriots are open for business at three, right? That will allow the Raiders to come up and go get Jaden Daniels and then to maybe acquire Brandon Ayuk in another way, right? Maybe with 2025 draft capital. Might not be 2024 draft capital. 
right? So that's kind of more likely. It's going to be harder, but it's the, I think it's slightly more likely they do that rather than, you know, just, yeah, than Washington doing it. But let's, let's talk about, I rambled enough about how other teams can do it. How can the Washington Commanders do it? It's a lot easier for the commanders to do it. They can just take Jay Net to call and call uh Adam Peters knows the Niners very well. Call the Niners up. Hey, bro, I'll give you this 36 pick in the draft right now for Brian Ayuk. Take it or leave it. Hang up the phone. Now we're gonna say, oh, but you gonna have Terry and Ayuk on big contracts. Guess what, buddy? Terry has two years left on his deal. That's it. Listen, out after this year. Not saying they're trying to replace Terry. So, chill out. But it's feasible. If you extended Terry this offseason to lower his next two cap numbers, it's feasible. If you gave uh, uh, Terry McLaurin a two-year extension and backloaded the contract to where when he's getting paid, when he's getting the higher cap numbers, the cap is going up. It's feasible. And the second round pick for Ayuk, it's not bad. It's a bad idea. Right? It might cost a team a first to have a late first rounder. Like, for example, the Chiefs. Say the Chiefs call. They have to give that 32 pick in the that, that 30 second pick in the draft. Right? Or the Ravens or a team that's contending for something, they will give up a first round pick. But a team like the Commanders, who aren't really aren't ready to win yet, right? <laughs> And we had the number two pick in the draft. I don't see us giving a number two pick in the draft for a IU. That's crazy, right? So the next best thing is a early second round pick, which is an extension of the first round. Because not everyone's going to be a first round pick, y'all. So it's easier for the command to pull off in the Raiders. But I think both of them want to play for Vegas if they, if they, uh, if they had a choice. I believe so. I really believe they want to play for Antonio Pierce. Ayuk wants to reunite with Jaden. Jaden wants to play with Brandon. Brandon, Brandon Ayuk and Devontae Adams with Jaden Dangu. Sheesh. You're talking an offense. And I like Michael Mayer. So you're talking an offense. I don't think they got Jacoby Myers anymore. But, yeah, uh, you're talking an offense there. You're talking an offense that can line it up. So that's going to be a very intriguing team if they were to pull that off. But the way that the Washington Commanders can do it is, hey, TJ. Hey, TJ. Hi, TJ. The way the Commanders can do it, you take Jay Netsu, give the Niners a call and say, look, I will give you the very six pick in the draft this year. If you need me to spice up the pot, I'll give you a fourth next year. That's far as I go. You can't get my first round pick. I, I need a franchise quarterback, so I can't do that. I think I, I think Adam Peters, knowing the Niners, he knows Ayuk very well. He drafted him. Dude's going on a 1,300 yard season. That with Terry and Jahan will be incredible. I doubt it happens. I, I really do. But the Jaden Daniels and Brandon Ayuk reunion in Washington, and I think that would even help Jaden Daniels too. That might make him feel better about going to Washington. That's something that you got to think about too. How to appease your franchise quarterback. So you take a number two in the draft. You take Jaden Daniels number two. He is your franchise quarterback in a discussion. There's no debate. He needs to be the guy for the next 10 daggone years. Period. 10 to 12. At least, bro. At least seven. Bare minimum seven. But more likely 10 to 12 years, he needs to be your guy, and you need to win with him and on that rookie deal. So how do you do that? You let him reunite with a guy you played at Arizona State with as a certified dog that – that just had a 1,300-yard season. That I think only 25 years of age and broke in play. And he could be the heir apparent to Terry McLaurin as wide receiver one on the Washington command. That's just my thoughts, man. What are your thoughts on this IU 
Jaden Daniels possible reunion in Washington. Would you trade for Ayuk? Would you give Ayuk the extension he wants? I would. But the cheaper route is to draft the receiver. And I'm not mad at that. I think we still should draft the receiver if we can't get Ayuk. I will, these are five targets. I'm, 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 I'm going to explain these five targets in another video. My five targets at 36 are as follows. Xavier Worthy. Anna Dye Mitchell. Xavier Leggett. Lad McConley, McConkley. I say Xavier Leggett, right? Xavier Leggett. And Troy Franklin. Those are my five targets at 36 if we're drafting a, a, a wide receiver, right? I'll give you my top five targets for corners, all that in other videos. I'll give you my top five targets for every position in the NFL draft and why I think they would be drafted and why, and we'll go ahead and do that very soon. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope, guys like, I hope you guys like it, enjoy it, and give me your thoughts in the comment section. Would you like a reunion of Brandon Ayuk and Jaden Daniels in Washington to uh, start this retool, recalibration, rebuild, whatever you want to call it, got daggone thing. They don't want to call it a freaking rebuild. They want to call it a recalibration. So we're going to call it a re-freaking calibration. What are your thoughts on this to start the recalibration of the Washington Commanders and making them a new image of a football team? <laughs> comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to TJ. And one more thing, y'all stay blessed, stay healthy, stay safe. Uh, one more thing, man. Today's April 9th is my late grandmother's birthday. Long live Grandma Vicky. I love you, Granny. I appreciate everything you've done for me uh, through my adolescent life. I know I'm, I'm sorry you ain't got to see my adult life. I know you're looking up there and above in the heavens. You were a godly woman, a god fearing woman. And um, I can use your spirit right now just to kind of cleanse my own spirit. <laughs> love you, Grandma. Hmm. See you later. See you up there when it's my time. Till next time.